I have another question from Lori Laurelay, 93, on Twitter, and she says, Ben, what has been your wildest fan encounter so far? Wildest fan encounter? Well, there's, there's been a couple. There was one time in uh, the first, uh, one of the first larger shows we played was at a, uh, a Twilight convention up in uh, Northern California, and uh, I find myself pinned against a, a wall, and these two girls opened my shirt and stole my tie. <laughs> and then this, uh, this, this other guy walked around the corner and, and like, scared him away. And he kind of looked at me and was like, are you all right? And that was a pretty interesting, uh, definitely a first, because I wasn't used to it at that point. Um, but yeah, they, they, there's been some interesting ones. Been oh, Rick, that. That, that, that was an interesting one. Someone came up to me and said, you know, can I lick your face? And they licked my face. Oh, oh, interesting. That's cool. That, that was an interesting one. That's cool. So you have, yeah, you have you have a lot of cool stories, and you're going to have a lot more, I'm sure. This is just the beginning. Um, we want to, are you still there? Oh, yeah. I'm okay, gonna... I heard a noise. I don't know, I heard a noise. I was like, uh-oh, he hung up on that one. Um, um, so we're going to play one more song, because uh, we don't want to run out of time, and we're going to play Cold Picks, and I would like you to tell us a little bit about it. Well, Cold Picks is, uh, it stands for the kind of sounds like Kings of Leon and the Pixies song. Which, uh, when we first wrote the song, it sort of did, but now it's taken on a, a flavor of its its whole own thing, and it's sort of uh, it's your standard love story song. It's about the uh, the end of a love story going wrong. Okay, okay. So this then has this song been played on a radio show before? I don't think so, because there's some uh, some colorful language in the middle there. All right, this la this song has bad double, words in it. And double we, radio premiere day. Yes, yeah, so yeah. this is double radio premiere of Cold Picks by 100 Monkeys, and here it goes, world, love it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, yo, and that was Cold Picks by 100 monkey, Monkeys, and that was actually sung by Ben G. And Ben, I want to tell people also, like, if they plug in uh, 100 Monkeys Shy Water, if you want to hear you singing in a different vein, you can watch the video. I watched it today of you at, like, an FYE or someplace doing, like, an impromptu concert. Yeah, the acoustic version. Yeah, the acoustic cool. version. Yeah, I believe that's uh, in Boston. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember where it was because I didn't pay that close attention. I was just trying to hear all the different songs in, in different ways um, that, that 100 Monkeys sounds. And I know that you were singing on that one, too. So that way, if people want to hear you singing a different song, you can go and, and check out that video. And then all this stuff is on iTunes, right? Uh, yep, everything's on iTunes. And uh, Live and Kickin', of course, will be available on the uh, 19th. And then if you're not into iTunes, um, you can go to our website, and you can click through the link and you can get it off our online re retailer too if you uh, are someone who uses iTunes. Yes, and that's 100monkeysmusic.com and it's 100, 1, 0, 0. You don't write yeah, it out. Yeah, 100, 0, 0, monkeysmusic.com. That's awesome. So, Ben, we want to thank you for being on the Jimmy Star Show. And when you guys are in Florida, we want you to come back. And when your movie gets released, we want you and Jackson to come on the show and talk about it whenever it comes out. Yeah, we'll come down and rock out with you. Oh, hey, you know, one other thing I wanted to, uh, to throw out for people to check out. Okay. We, we ran a uh, coloring contest for the Future Radio cover art. Uh-huh. Um, it's like a black and white astronaut. We got all of these wonderful coloring submissions um, from people all over the world who sent them in. And uh, later today, those will be going live on our webpage. And everybody's, uh, we, we were able to use all of the colorings that were submitted. And the uh, icon for Future Radio will be changing to a different coloring randomly uh, from now on for as long as you're on the front of the webpage. So if you uh, did one of those colorings and you want to see it up on the homepage, you can go check it out. That is super cool. Well, I want you to do one more thing for me while we got you on the phone. You ready? What's that? I want you to say, hey, I'm Ben G from 100 Monkeys, and you're listening to the Jimmy Star Show on W4CY. Hey, I'm Ben G from 100 Monkeys, and you're listening to the Jimmy Star Show on W4CY. There you go, dude. Thanks so much. We'll be in touch. Good luck with the tour, and thanks for being on the Jimmy Star Show. Yep, thanks for having me, guys. All righty, bye-bye. Bye, Ben. Bye. Take care. Bye. Way cool. Very cool. That dude is way cool, you guys. And 100 Monkeys is going to really rock the world, I'm telling you. I can, I, I can. They have something for everybody. Like There's such a variety of songs and such a variety of music. And just in case anybody missed it, it's 100monkeysmusic.com. And I have some shout-outs, too. Uh, because of our Twitter contest, I just wanted to say a big thank you to 100 Monkeys GC on Twitter, Monkeys Aholics on Twitter, and Monkey Junkies on Twitter. They all help spread the word about the contest, and uh, those are like the official 100 Monkeys fan sites, and everybody should follow them on Twitter. They're very cool. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I think they're way cool, and and uh, I know we they don't play it up a whole lot, but like one of the uh, one of the members of a hundred monkeys is Jackson Rathbone. Anybody who doesn't know who he is is definitely living like under a a bench or something. But Jackson Rathbone um, is in all the Twilight movies, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse. He's also one of the stars of The Last Airbender. And he's got movies coming out with Ben G that they're both in together, and they did the soundtrack for it, and I'm sure we'll get him back on the show again soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, The Days Volume 2 is supposed to be, like, very mind-bending, and so I'm all about seeing that movie. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Um, so, um, do we have time for one more star mail question? I think we should give, like, Woody or Alex one more question, since we haven't heard him talking too much lately. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, this one is for Woody. Okay. From Ariana in Paris, France. I love your hair. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody in the chat is saying. Um, if I can go to only one convention in the U.S., which one should I go to? And I'm guessing she's talking horror since yes. you're our horror expert. You would go to the Spooky Empire's Weekend of Horror, or Horror Weekend, right? Yeah. Which one is it? It's Spooky, Spooky Empire's Horror Weekend. And that's in Orlando, and uh, it's this year, the 8th through the 10th of October. Yeah, it's at right? the Wyndham Hotel. The Wyndham Hotel. We go every year. Every year. We'll all be year. going. The Jimmy Star Show will be there. And this year we're going to have, what, Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger's going to be there. John Carpenter's going to be there. Uh, Gary Busey and his son, Jake. Which we know um, all 